Okay. Thanks for joining me in this virtual yoga studio. I hope you can hear me okay. Let's together try and practice amidst this crazy, unprecedented time. I've never experienced anything like this before where I'm staying home for at least two weeks, me and my kids and my husband, homeschooling, taking a break from going to the studio and regular routines and our bodies and our minds are all experiencing so many different things with this new pattern of life that we're living in. And so the only thing that's gonna help at least myself get through this time is having my consistent yoga practice in my life. And I wanna offer somehow for us to be able to flow together. Social distancing doesn't mean that we need to be completely distant from each other. So roll out your mat. I just have my mat at home. I have two yoga blocks. If you don't have blocks at home, you could always use books of the same height or just modify without use of blocks if needed. And let's begin together in a seated position. Just come to a comfortable seat. Reach around, moving the flesh away from your sitting bones so you feel firmly connected to the ground. You can sit up on a towel or a blanket to rise your hips up a little and feel more comfort or you can always sit on a block as well. Allow your hands to rest, either palms face down on your legs, which can be very grounding, or you can stack your palms together and let them lie in your lap. And start to feel your shoulders travel back over your hips and the crown of your head, the mid center of the top of your head. Imagine a string pulling it up toward the ceiling elongating your spine and being just a little bit taller and your chin stays neutral to the ground. Start to relax the muscles, engage your core though, just slightly pulling your navel a little in toward your spine. Close your eyes and begin to tune into your breath. Together, let's take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your lips, sigh it out. Once more, deep breath in, filling up, feeling your belly fill with air, ribs expand and lift. Open your lips and sigh it out. Now sealing your lips, allow your breath to be natural and easy. Just noticing where it flows today, any places where it might be stuck and don't try and change it or alter it at this point. Just notice how it feels to breathe in your body. Notice if you can start to train your mind to connect to your breath. That way your mind is only thinking about each breath that you're taking in and out. When the mind starts to wander and jump around to other things, other emotions, other feelings, other thoughts, to-do lists, worries, whatever it may be, children or animals running around your house, just let it go. Let it out with each exhale, being fully present to this moment. All you have is your breath. Nothing else matters at this time. Take a deep breath in. Now drawing your attention to your belly, feeling it rise, ribs expand, chest starts to lift and fill with air. And gently and slowly exhaling through your nose. Breath in, filling up, feeling the belly fill. Exhale, empty everything out, feeling your sitting bones get a little heavier into the mat. Breath in through your nose. Gentle exhale through your nose, releasing the tension between your brows, letting your jaw be heavy. Breath in. Breath out. Continue like this for a few moments in silence as we breathe together, feeling fully present to the moment that we're each in.
take one last full inhale, feeling as much air as you can possibly fill in your body. Open your lips, sigh it out. You can remain with your eyes closed or allow them to softly flutter open. Let your hands come down by your sides and as you inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, palms draw together, exhale, hands down to heart center. Inhale, arms reach out and overhead, looking up at your palms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, this time, inhale, arms reach up and overhead. As you exhale, let your right hand land by your hip. Inhale, reach up through your left fingertips. As you exhale, slowly bend toward the right. Your right fingertips can reach out, walking to the side. Roll your left shoulder back so your chest stays open and actively press into your left sitting bone, feeling really rooted down to the mat as you lengthen your whole left side. Gaze can stay forward, up toward your left hand or down toward your right, whatever feels best on your neck. Take a full breath in here, filling your belly up. Exhale. Inhale, both arms reach. Exhale, left hand lands by your left hip. Inhale, reach up with your right fingertips. Exhale, begin to bend toward the left. Left fingertips can stay or slowly walk out toward the left. As you press into the pads of your fingers, feel your right sitting bone be heavy. Roll your right shoulder back, feeling broad across the chest. Gaze whatever direction feels best for your neck. Feeling your ribs spread apart on your right side body, sending your breath to all those spaces that we constrict. Big breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, make your way to tabletop pose. Hands come directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. If you have any wrist pain at all, you can always take your blocks, place them underneath your hands, making your arms a little bit longer. Otherwise, walk your blocks out of the way. Let your palms be flat on the mat as your fingers spread, actively press into the knuckles of your hands so your palms begin to flatten. And just for a moment, gaze between your knees. If you can see your feet at all, shift them so they're right behind your knees. Then actively press into the tops of your feet so your shin bones lengthen behind you. Start to engage your core slightly, feeling your navel pull up toward your spine. And on your next inhale, tuck your tailbone up toward the ceiling, drop your belly, gaze forward, shoulder blades squeeze together, collarbones broad and cow pose. Exhale, cat, start to tuck your tailbone under, arch your upper back, gaze toward your belly button, firmly press into your palms. Breath in, cow, gaze lifts. Exhale, cat, drop your head, tuck your tailbone, firmly press. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Continue like this, linking your own pace of breath and movement, maybe closing your eyes to go a little bit more inward. Use your breath as your guide for when you change positions. The longer each inhale and exhale are, the more space you have to land a pose, to feel complete, maybe even lingering in the space between each inhale and exhale, allowing you to feel completely present. After your last cat pose, come back to neutral spine, tabletop. Start to lift your right arm out toward the side wall as you breathe in. And as you exhale, thread the needle allowing your right shoulder and cheek side of your face to land on the mat. You can stay just like this if this is enough for you, being gentle, it's the beginning of your practice, or just start to slowly walk your left fingertips forward, straightening your elbow, 
Feeling a firm press of your left palm into the mat, lengthening the shoulders on your upper back. Pressing into the back side of your right arm, protecting your neck, very minimal weight in the head. If you walked your fingertips forward, slowly bring them back underneath your left shoulder. And on your next inhale, press into your left palm. Slide your right palm out and up for a counter twist. Take a big breath in, filling up. Exhale, hands back to mat. Good. Breathe in, cow pose. Drop the belly. Exhale, cat. Round and arch your upper back up toward the ceiling. Back to neutral spine, tabletop, neck is nice and long, and on an inhale, left arm reaches out and up. As you exhale, thread the needle, left shoulder lands on the mat, right fingertips can stay or start to walk forward, actively pressing into your palm, feeling an opening on the back of your shoulders, not much pressure going into your neck, maintaining strength in the back of your left arm and right palm. If your right hand move forward, return it back underneath your shoulder. And on your next inhale, press into your right hand to sweep your left arm out and up. And then exhale, hand back to mat. Breath in, cow, drop your belly. Exhale, cat, arch your upper back, firmly pressing into your hands. Good, back to neutral spine, tabletop. Start to lift your left foot to the back of the room, flexing your foot, lifting your foot only as high as your hip and keeping your hip nice and square. And as you feel steady, right fingertips reach to the front of the room, thumb pointing up toward the ceiling. Spread your fingers, sending the energy out toward the front of the room, feeling really long from the tips of your fingers to the base of your heel. Take a big breath in, reaching. Exhale, elbow to knee. Breath in, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, find length. Exhale, hand to knee, back to mat. Set up for the other side. Right leg straightens back behind you, flexing your right foot, toes point toward the mat. Firmly pressing into your right hand and the shin of your left leg. And as you feel steady, left fingertips reach to the front of the room. Be nice and long in the back of your neck, gazing down toward where your hands were, that space between. Spread your fingers, thumb pointing toward the ceiling. Take a big breath in, getting as long as you can. Exhale, elbow to knee. Breath in, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, find length, get really long. Exhale, hand and knee to mat. And walk your hands forward a few inches so they're in front of your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Find the ball of your foot, the space underneath, that fleshy space underneath your toes. Firm up your belly, pull your navel in toward your spine. And on your next exhale, lift your knees up and slowly press your hips up and back, finding downward facing dog. Take any movements you need to arrive comfortably, maybe bending one knee and then the other, walking out your dog slowly, feeling your movements purposeful to help you arrive. Maybe bending both knees, really pressing your chest back toward your thighs, tailbone up and back. And then start to find some stillness, keeping a slight bend in your knees, palms pressing flat into the mat and pushing forward to help you lengthen back. Good, have your heels tracking down toward the mat. They don't have to touch. Letting go of any tension in your neck, maybe shaking your head yes and no. Take a deep breath in, filling your belly up. Exhale, empty out. Inhale, filling your lungs up, breathing in that precious air. Exhale through closed mouth, empty out. And any time today when we're holding down our dog for extended periods of time, tabletop where we began is always an option. Take a deep breath in, filling your belly up with air. Empty everything out of your lungs. 
Then bend your knees, lift your heels, look to your hands and tiptoe to the top of the mat. Spread your feet wide as your hips are wider, bending your knees so you feel your rib cage land on your thighs. Grab opposite hand to opposite elbow, ragdoll pose. Crown of your head pointing toward the mat. You don't have to have straight legs here. This can be intense on your low back, especially if you have tight hamstrings. So keeping that bend in your knees allows you to feel some release. You can enjoy stillness or maybe rocking a little side to side. Whatever feels best in your body to help you let go. Feeling fully present, noticing all you have here is your breath, your movement, and the fact that anything else that's going on is not relevant to the here and now. All you need is your presence. Be here now. Release your hands. Toe heel your feet back together to touch. On an inhale, press your hands into your shins. Find a flat back. Knees bend slightly. Hands press into your shins for your shoulder blades to draw together on your back. Crown of your head pointing toward the front of the room. Tailbone lengthens toward the back. Feel your belly lift in toward your spine. Take a deep breath in, filling up there. Exhale, forward fold, release, crown of your head points down. On an inhale, root down into your feet to rise up. Hands reach up, look up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, flat back, hands press to shins. As you exhale, hands plant on the mat, step back, high plank pose, hold here. Knees can drop at any time. Heels press toward the wall behind you. Shoulder blades pull together on your back. Collarbone is broad as your heart pulls forward. Neck is neutral with your spine. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, roll onto your tippy toes and lower all the way down, elbows squeezing in toward your sides. Untuck your toes, pressing into the tops of your feet. Inhale, baby cobra lifting the heart. Exhale, lower down. Breath in, baby cobra, lift the chest, feel the shoulder blades come together. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra, this time we hold. Pressing into the tops of your feet so you feel your kneecaps begin to lift off the mat. Firmly rooting down into your pelvic bone, that zipper spot if you were wearing jeans. Elbows hug in toward your low ribs. Collarbones are broad, releasing any tension in your jaw as you hold here for one more inhale. Exhale, lower down. Rising up through tabletop as you breathe in. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, firmly pressing into the knuckles of your hands. Exhale, empty out. Fill up your lungs with air. Empty everything out. Then bend your knees, lift your heels, step or hop top of the mat. Flat back, breathing in, find some length. Forward fold, release, head hangs. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, flat back, feeling broad across the chest. On the exhale, hands plant, high plank. Stay for the inhale. As you exhale, chaturanga, roll onto your tippy toes, lower halfway down, keep looking forward. Inhale, upward facing dog, rolling over your toes, shoulder blades squeeze together. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. As you breathe and feel present, an option whenever we take that vinyasa flow we just did, moving from high to low plank, then upward facing dog, your knees can always drop, or you can take the same flow we started with where you lower all the way down to the mat and then take a baby cobra. So it's your choice how you practice this morning. 
Modifying is a sign of strength. If you change the pose to work for your body, you're showing how tuned in you are to yourself and how much you don't want to do any harm and respect the body. That is strength and definition. Take a deep breath in, filling out the liner. Empty everything out. Then bend your knees, lift your heels, step or hop, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, release. One more sun salutation. A, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Flat back, breathing in. This time as you exhale, move from high to low plank. Upward facing dog, filling up with air. Downward facing dog, emptying everything out. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, fill up your lungs, let everything out, then bend your knees, lift your heels, step or hop, top of the mat, flat back, finding length, forward fold, release. Inhale, chair pose, arms sweep up in front of you, hips sit low and back. Options for your feet, big toes can come together to touch, a slight space for your heels, or you can hug a block between your thighs so that way you squeeze the block with your legs and your feet are hip distance. Either way, squeeze the muscles to the bones of your legs. Legs are really active, weight comes back toward your heels, big toes might even lift, wiggle. Chest lifts to the front of the rim, fingertips spread. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sit a little lower and back. Breathe in. A little lower and back. Last big breath in. Forward fold, release. Flat back, filling up with air. Plant your hands high to low plank, exhale. Upward facing dog, leading with your heart. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale your right leg straight up and back. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Back heel spins flat, arms reach up, warrior one on the right. Take your feet nice and wide, starting with your hands on your hips. Your left foot moves towards the left, right toward the right, so you're on railroad tracks with your feet not a tightrope. Then press into the outer edge of your back foot to spin your left hip forward, right hip back, squaring your hips to the front of the room. Tailbone tucks under slightly, right knee is bent over your ankle. Then arms reach. Breathing deeply, relaxing your toes, shoulders drop away from your ears, fingers are spread. Breath in, breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Good, start to gaze up between your hands if your neck allows you to. And then fingertips start to reach back, feeling a little back bend here. Chest is nice and broad. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, stepping back, moving from high to low plank on the same exhale. Upward facing dog, full breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Let your left leg reach up and back behind you. As you exhale, step your left foot between your hands over to the left side of the mat. Right heel spins flat, comes out wide, and use your inhale to rise up to warrior one. Again, starting with your hands on your hips, taking your feet on railroad tracks. Left knee is bent over your ankle. Press into the outer edge of your right foot to spin your right hip forward, left hip back. Neutralize your pelvis by tucking your tailbone under slightly feeling a lengthening in the front of your right hip. Arms then can reach up, shoulders drop away. Gaze, your drishti, your focus is soft in front of you. Fingers are spread wide, feeling the energy come out through your fingertips. 
back leg is strong and straight. On your next inhale, start to look up at the space between your hands. Reach out of your waist like you're lifting a box onto the top shelf. And then start to take a baby back bend if your body allows. Fingertips reach back behind you. Biceps stay by your ears. Take one more big breath in. Bend a little deeper into your left knee. Then exhale. Hands come to the mat. Taking your flow. Moving from high to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good. We're here for a few rounds of breath. Taking child's pose or tabletop whenever you need rest. The next round or two of sun salutation B, that's all the poses we just learned to slowly, will be linked together one breath, one movement. Making your breath long and full allows you to land each pose, to feel fully present in each movement your body makes. If you need an extra breath, take it. We'll all meet together anyways at the end, even if we're moving at different paces. It's still one community. Take a deep breath in, filling up. Empty everything out of your lungs. And bend your knees, lift your heels. Step or hop, top of the mat. Flat back, finding length, pulling your heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, breathing in for a full inhale. As you exhale, forward fold. Flat back, finding length. Hands plant, step back, high to low plank, exhale. Upward facing dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, breathing out. Right leg swings up and back for an inhale. Use your exhale to set up for warrior one. Inhale to rise to your full expression. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Take your flow, making your way back to downward facing dog. Once in dog, inhale your left leg straight up and back. Use the exhale to set up for warrior one. And inhale to rise up, landing your pose. And exhale, hands back down to the mat, stepping back, taking your flow, or moving right back to downward facing dog. In dog, you catch your breath, lengthening each inhale and exhale, rebuilding your foundation. Staying present, using the sound of your breath to keep you anchored to this very moment. Take a deep breath in. Open your lips, sigh it out. Come to child's pose. Big toes come together to touch. Hips go back towards your heels. Forehead rests on the mat or on a block. Fingertips reach forward. Elbows can rest for a more passive asana, more passive position, posture. Or you can really press into the pads of your fingers, lifting your elbows, making it more active. Release and breathe here. With each exhale, pushing a little bit closer toward your heels with your hips. With every breath out. Let go of something that does not serve you. Commit to fill up with nourishing energy with each breath in. And just release everything with each breath out. As you're ready, Pressing back, not tucking your toes, making your way to downward facing dog. Good. Right foot steps forward between your hands in a runner's lunge. Then drop your left knee to the mat, untuck your left toes, keeping your right knee over your ankle. Arms reach up toward the ceiling. Good. Really feel your inner thighs squeezing toward center together. Your hips are dropping toward the mat just a little bit, feeling an opening around them, reaching through the tips of your fingers. Inhale, your hands come to heart center. Stay for the exhale. Lean the crown of your head forward with the next breath in. 
And as you exhale, twist to the right, hooking the outside of your left arm on the outer edge of your right thigh. Use your hands in prayer to lift your chest off of your thigh, feeling your abdomen constrict. Gaze can stay forward, or you can slowly shift your gaze up toward the ceiling. Option to stay for another few rounds of breath or to tuck your left toes and lift your left knee off the mat. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. If your knee was down, you'll have to lift it to get there. Readjust. Right knee bends over your right ankle and then presses toward the pinky toe side of your foot, opening up the thigh. Active connection with the back edge of your left foot and your left toes face a little bit toward the side or the upper left edge of the mat. Fingers reach forward and backward. Shoulders drop away from your ears. Try and keep your hips so they're neutral and on one plane. So your left hip might have hiked up and instead tuck it under. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, staying with breath, being fully present as you exhale. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, side angle lunge. Right elbow lands on right thigh, very lightly. Imagining a string attached to your left middle finger pulling you up as you lean back behind you on an imaginary wall, very open in the front of your body. Gaze can stay toward the horizon, up toward your left hand or down toward your right toes. If you unbend your knee at all, rebend it so it stays over your ankle. Breathing deeply. On your next inhale, take your left arm, tuck it behind your back for a half bind. Option to stay like this or to lift your right hand like you're serving a platter in front of you, using the strength of your legs and your core to support you here. Good, stay for one more big inhale. Let out all of your air, exhale. Inhale, rise up, reverse your triangle, straightening your right leg, reaching your right arm up. Your left hand can come to your left hip, pressing it forward a little so the hips stay even. Then right hand joins your hip. Step your left foot in halfway, square your hips to the front of the room. Take a deep breath in, standing nice and tall. On the exhale, start to fold over your right leg for pyramid pose. Keep your hands at your hips for a moment to feel them staying even. Then you can take blocks on either side of your right foot and fold over your right leg completely. Feel even weight between right and left foot, sometimes maybe playing a little bit with the balance. Release any tension in your neck, shaking your head to help you let go. Walk your blocks forward a little bit toward the top edge of your mat. Looking at your right big toe, start to slowly lift your left foot up, finding standing half split. Left toes, peek at them, point them down toward the mat, flex your foot so your toes are pulling in toward your knee. Keeping your back leg really strong, you can stay with your hands on blocks. Or to play with balance, you could bring one hand to the back of your calf, or maybe even a second. Gazing in front of your mat slightly, keeping your left leg strong, lifting it up. Go ahead, take one more big inhale. Exhale, left foot meets right at the top of the mat, forward fold. Toe heel your feet together to touch. Take a deep breath in, find a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up chair pose, sitting low. Hands come to heart center. Big breath in. As you exhale, twist to the left, hooking the outer edge of your right arm on the outside of your left thigh. If it's hard for you to get your heart higher than your hips, stay upright and reach your arms instead, right? Modifying is a sign of strength. Twisting from the rib cage, so peek down at your knees. If your right knee scooched forward of your left, pull it back. Take a deep breath in, sitting as low as you can. Exhale, 
forward fold. Separate your feet, hip distance or wider. Take your peace fingers and thumb, looping your peace fingers between your big toe and second toe, and then take your thumb and loop it over, taking a toe lock. So you're gripping your toe. Inhale to find a flat back bend in your knees. Exhale, fold forward here, elbows bend going toward the side of the room. Releasing tension in your neck, knowing that it's not about straightening your knees, it's about being with breath, being fully locked into each inhale and exhale. Your power comes from being able to stand in this very moment, releasing anything else that's a distraction. We move with breath, so that way at the end we can find stillness. Releasing the bind of your toes, begin to toe heel your feet back together to touch. Inhale, finding a flat back. Exhale, fold. Breath in, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Flat back, breathing in. Plant your hands, step back, high to low plank, exhale. Upward facing dog, heart forward and through. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg steps between your hands. Drop your right knee down, untuck your right toes. And then using the strength of your core and your thighs pulling in toward each other, lift your arms up for a low lunge. Find that inner drawing motion from your thighs. Fingertips spread. Feel balanced by pressing into the top of your right foot, the shoelace side. Left knee is over your ankle. Hands come to heart center. Take a deep breath in, leaning the crown of your head forward. And as you exhale, twist to the left, hooking the outside of your right arm on the outer edge of your left leg. Using your hands in prayer to lift your chest off of your thigh, relaxing your left toes. Option to stay, to tuck your right toes under and using the strength of your core, lift up. We have two more full breaths here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, empty. Feel all the way up. As you exhale, spin open, warrior two. Setting up your pose, hips and shoulders are squared toward the wall beside you. Left knee bends over your ankle, pressing toward the pinky toe side of your foot. Arms actively reaching forward and back, fingers spread, gaze is soft over your front middle finger. Using your drishti, your vision, to feel fully present and connected to this moment. As you get to start being tired in your legs, you're working hard, use your breath to show you that you can stay. When things get hard, when you want to flee, when you don't think you can stay any longer, just take one more big breath. Then exhale, side angle lunge, landing lightly on your left forearm. Imagining that string pulling you up toward the ceiling, keeping your left knee bent over your ankle. Gaze wherever it's most comfortable in your body, but lean your upper body back, imagining a wall there, actively press into your right foot. Take one more big breath here. As you exhale, tuck your right arm behind your back, broadening your collarbones. Stay for two more breaths. Left arm can stay on your thigh or start to reach it forward. Left thigh is getting really tired. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, reverse your triangle, reaching your left arm up, straightening your left leg, right hand comes to right hip, really leveling them out. Then left hand joins on your left hip. Step your right foot in halfway, square your hips to the front of the room. Imagine that string to the crown of your head again. Inhale, pulling you up, lengthening out your spine. And as you exhale, slowly fold over your left leg, finding pyramid pose. Again, you find your blocks, placing your hands on them, helping to bring the ground to you, helps you square your hips, sending the breath to the back of your left leg, releasing any tension in your neck, relaxing your toes.
and gazing forward toward the top of the mat, slide your blocks forward. Start to go onto the toes of your right foot and then lift your right foot up for standing half splits. Right toes are pointing toward the mat. Flex your foot, whole right leg is active, quad is engaged. You can stay with your hands on blocks or play with balance. It can help to bring your gaze forward slightly of your mat to find some balance. I always tell my classes, when we fall out of balance, we smile and begin again. We practice on our mats to see how we handle things off of our mats. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right foot meets left at the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale to find a flat back. Exhale, fold, release everything. Inhale, chair pose, bending your knees, sitting low. Hands come right to heart center as you exhale. Big breath in, sitting as low as you can. As you exhale, twist to the right. Peek down at your knees. If your left knee scooched forward, bring it back in line with your right. Hips are squared. Twist is from the rib cage. Gaze can stay down at your feet or look up toward the ceiling. Whatever variation feels best in your body. Sit a little bit lower so hips are lower than your heart. Option always to rise up. Extending your arms, left arm forward, right arm back. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, release, forward fold. Separate your feet, hip distance or wider. Gorilla pose. Slide your palms underneath your feet so your toes start to touch your wrist crease. Find a flat back here, breathing in. As you exhale, release everything, gazing toward the top back edge of your mat. Your neck hangs heavy, maybe shaking it back and forth. Feeling some of the weight come into the balls of your feet. It might feel like you're tipping forward slightly, but trust yourself. You are stable, you are safe. You are breathing with health and presence on your mat. Release the back. Toe heel your feet back together to touch. Inhale, finding a flat back, finding as much length as you can. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart. Place all the weight into your left foot. Hands come to hips. And lift your right knee up, flexing your right foot so it's directly underneath your knee, separating your toes. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, slowly open your knee to the right, using the strength of your core to support your foot here. Good, then lift your knee as high as you possibly can. And then slowly, with control, make your way into tree pose, sliding your right foot onto the inner edge of your left leg, wherever it lands. Hands can then come to heart center. Using our core strength to get us into tree pose shows you where your natural range of motion is rather than reaching down and hiking your foot up. Feel a firm connection with your left foot into the ground like you're growing roots and your right foot firmly pressing into your left leg, just not pressing too hard on the knee. As you feel steady, grow your branches, reaching your fingers up, spinning your pinkies in toward each other, shoulders drop down your back. Feeling your Uddiyana Bandha, your core lock, abdominal lock, engage slightly, navel pulls in towards spine. Last option is to start to shift your vision and look up between your hands. Take a big breath in, filling up with as much energy as you can. Exhale, foot to mat, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in. Open your lips, sigh it out. Hands come to hips. Weight shifts into your right leg, left knee lifts, left foot is flexed underneath your knee, spread your toes. In balance poses, you can always use the wall to help you feel stable if it's near you. But just being a yes, saying yes, I can balance, feeling the roots grow into your foot as you stand tall, reaching through the crown of your head, and gaze stays steady. These are all tricks to help you feel good and balanced. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, knee opens toward the left. Hike your knee up as high as you can. And then slowly shift your foot onto the inner edge of your right leg. All right, you might lose your balance, but feel strong, feel steady. If you lose it, smile and begin again. 
Hands come to heart center. Feeling that active connection of your left foot into your right leg. Your right foot grows roots into the ground and you stand as tall as you can. Feel your chest press into your thumb knuckles. Then keeping your chest open, start to grow your branches, reach your arms up, spin your pinkies in toward each other, palms toward the back of the room. This might be your pose, or you start to look up. I had a teacher tell me once the only time you're standing in a room seeing everybody with arms outstretched looking up is in a holy space where the energy is so intense that the room is vibrating. Feel that now from the space of your own home. Notice the communal energy through the computer. Take a deep breath in, filling up. Exhale, foot to mat, hands to heart. Mending your knees, inhale, sweep your arms out and overhead. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Find a flat back, breathing in. Plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior two, left heel spins flat, rising up, find your pose. Straighten your right leg, hips reach all the way back, fingertips reach, reach, reach to the front of the room. When you can't go anymore, triangle pose. Left arm reaches up to the ceiling, right arm lands on the inner edge of your leg. You can always use a block if needed or come up higher. Either way, it's the same pose, finding length through your sides of your body. Rolling your left shoulder back, maybe looking up at your left hand. Feet actively pressing into the mat. Feeling the mound of your right big toe firmly pressing down. Good. Stay for one more round of breath. On your next inhale, rise back up. Take your right toes, pivot them toward the left side of the room. Toes come in a little bit more. Left toes pivot to face the back. Palms face the ground. Setting up for triangle pose. Hips reach all the way back. Fingertips reach all the way forward. When you can't go any more, rotate into triangle, feeling your chest open toward the side of the room, length on both sides of the body, rooting down into your feet. Feel connection with the earth. Breathe. On an inhale, rising back up. Pivot your left toes to face the side of the room. Parallel the edges of your feet with the edges of the mat so your heels come out slightly. Hands come to hips. Big breath in, shine your heart up toward the ceiling. Exhale with a flat back. Take a wide legged forward fold. When you can't go any more, hands can release to the mat or to a block. Fingertips can walk through to the back of your mat, pointing behind you. Wherever you are, release any tension in your neck. Crown of your head pointing toward the mat. Keep your gaze focused on one single object. Feel fully present. Feel relief. Hands walk underneath your nose, bending your knees, find a flat back here. Then slowly walk your hands over to your right foot. Turn your right toes forward, lift your back heel up for a runner's lunge. Hands come down on the mat, right foot steps back with left high plank. And very, very slowly, knees on or off the mat. Lower all the way down, rest your cheek on the mat. Arms rest down by your side, let everything go, releasing any tension. Eyes can close, your body is heavy. You've made it down to the mat. Flip your cheek, looking the other side, stretching both sides of your neck out. Forehead or chin comes to center. Pressing into the tops of your feet. Feet are about hip distance. Flip your palms over so they're face down on the mat now. Palms down. Rooting into your pelvic bowl and your pubic area where the zipper of your jeans would be. On an inhale, lift everything up for a locust pose. Toes pointing toward the back of the room. Fingertips reaching back. Shoulder blades come together. Looking at the top edge of your mat so your neck is nice and long. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, lower down, rest your cheek, everything lets go. Setting back up, forehead or chin to center. Palms flip down, find your foundation here. And on an inhale, lift up for locust pose for five, four, look for length, three, breathing two, one last big breath in. Exhale, lower everything down, rest your cheek. Bringing your forehead or chin back to center. You can stay and do one last locust pose, or we'll only do one here. So if double floor bow, both legs is in your found, is in your practice, bend your knees, reach for the tops of your feet, then walk your knees back in towards center. Keeping your feet in line with your knees and hips. On an inhale, you'll kick into your hands to rise up. Knees coming in towards center, flexing your feet Feeling your shoulder blades pull together, collarbones broad, neck nice and long. Take one more big breath in, lifting as high as you can. Exhale, lower down. Stack your hands underneath your forehead, keeping your knees bent. Windshield wiper your feet side to side. Good. Bring your arms up beside you to a T, palms face down, legs return to the mat. Keeping your forehead or chin on the mat, arms just as they are, slowly start to roll onto your right side. This might be your pose, or you can walk your left hand in using the press to help you open up the shoulders. Your legs can stay stacked, they can be staggered, or you can lift your left leg up, bend at the knee, bring it behind your right knee, opening up. Would your right arm never change positions? It's still out at a T like you began. Good, slowly releasing, bringing your leg back down, straightening back out your left arm, coming back to a T, setting up for the other side. Left arm stays just where it is as you roll onto your shoulder and your left side. Legs can stack, right arm can move in, Pressing into your fingertips to deepen the expression. Right leg can lift, foot can land behind your left knee, opening up. Breathing into your shoulder space. Feeling relief. Good, legs return as they were, very gently and slowly rolling back onto your belly. Arms are in a T. Then bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, pressing up to tabletop pose and coming down to lie on your backs. Setting up for bridge pose. Knees are bent, feet are about hip distance. Reach for your heels with your hands, palms face down. If you can't quite reach your heels, walk them in a little bit more towards your body. Toes point forward and on an inhale, you press into your feet to rise your hips up. Shoulder blades walk underneath you you can either robot your arms, fingertips pointing up, or interlace your hands underneath your low back underneath you. Keeping your knees and toes pointing forward, feeling your chest lift up, chin stays neutral. Take a deep breath in, exhale, release everything to the mat. Stay for the breath in and the breath out. We have three more back bends. I will do one bridge, one wheel, and one supported bridge pose. You can take whatever's in your practice. If it's a supported bridge, you'll slide the block underneath your low back and rest everything on it. Good, on your next inhale, setting back up, rising up to bridge, wheel, or supported bridge, staying here for five, four, actively pressing into the backs of your arm if you're an active bridge, Three, two, lift a little bit higher, one, slowly lower down. And stay for the inhale and the exhale. Good, setting up for your third back bend, I'll demonstrate wheel, hands come by your shoulders, behind your ears, toes and knees stay pointing forward on an inhale. 
Heel press up, rising up, chest pressing toward the wall behind you, feeling your knees and toes point forward, actively pressing into whatever is on the mat for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Last big breath in. Wheels tuck your chin, slowly lower down. Good, take a deep breath in and a breath out. One last back bend, yogi's choice. I'll show you a more restorative version. On an inhale, press into your hip to rise your hips up, sliding a block underneath your low back. Breathing here. If you have the block underneath you, release any tension and let the block take the support of your body. Good, everybody take one last big breath in. Exhale, lower down. Find Supta Baddha Soles of your feet come together. Knees come apart like a butterfly. Blocks can always go underneath your knees or your thighs. Place your hands on your belly, one on your belly, one on your heart center. Close your eyes. Try and find that centering that we started with, filling up the belly, feeling the air travel between your hands. And as you exhale, find release, letting everything be heavy. Your eyes can close for the remainder of the class. Feeling deep relief. Happy baby. Soles of your feet come up over your knees so your feet are wide. You can either hold behind your thighs, behind your calves, or to the outer edges of your feet. Wherever you're holding, let your whole spine be flat on the mat, even down to your tailbone. So if you feel that you're rolling up because you're tight, move your hands and hold a different part of your legs. It's all about the opening and release. Not about how flexible you are, but about what benefit you get from the pose. Flexing your feet, spreading your toes, releasing any tension. So even as you can give effort, where can you soften and find some ease here? On your knees and to your chest. Give them a squeeze, a well-deserved hug. Maybe roll a little side to side, massaging out your lower back. Good, and then keep your right knee hugging and place your left foot on the mat. Find figure four, crossing your right ankle all the way over your thigh, bringing your right hand onto your thigh to begin pressing it toward the front of the room, spreading and flexing your right foot option to stay here if this is enough for you or to lift your left foot off the mat interlacing your hands behind your left thigh flexing whichever feet are off the ground maybe even bending your left leg a little bit more and interlacing your hands on the top of your shins whatever is the edge for you go to it but never past it or in the more passive section of our class we're winding down toward the end so you're looking for release you built strength you cultivated breath you matched breath with movement but now you release slowly lower your left foot to the mat if you had it lifted good cross your right thigh even tighter over your left so your thighs are touching Gently pick up your hips, moving them toward the right a little. Arms come up beside you to a T. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, gently twist toward the left, keeping your right shoulder firmly on the mat, only going as far as you feel that connection maintaining. Gaze can stay up toward the ceiling or over toward your right hand. Very slowly untwisting, bringing your knees back up, straightening your hips back out, uncrossing your right knee from your left, and then hugging your left knee into your chest, right foot stays on the mat. 
guiding your leg toward figure four. Left ankle crosses over right thigh. Left hand can press your left thigh toward the front of the room. Spread and flex your left foot. Stay just as you are, or option to lift your right leg off the mat, interlacing your hands behind your right thigh, having your right toes flex and spread just like your left. You can stay there or bend deeper into your right knee, interlacing your hands on the front of your right shin. So many options so that way your yoga can meet your body where it is today. If you lifted your right foot, slowly releasing it down to the mat, crossing your left leg tighter over your right. Arms come up beside you. Press into your right foot to lift your hips a little toward the left. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let your knees drop toward the right, making sure your left shoulder blade stays firmly on the mat. Gaze can stay toward the ceiling or over toward your left hand. Inhale, gently lifting your knees back up, straightening your hips out, uncrossing your legs. Give both knees a squeeze, maybe pick up your head, scrunch in, give yourself a really big, well-deserved hug. Take a huge inhale, as big as you can with constriction. Exhale, release everything to the mat, finding your final resting pose of Shavasana. Your feet spread wide toward the edges of your mat, maybe even hanging off. Arms are out beside you, shoulder blades tuck under slightly, palms face up. Start to scan your body with your mind's eye, releasing any tension you're holding on to. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your lips, sigh it out. Shavasana. your begins with all your fingers and your toes. Take a deep breath in. Open your lips, sigh it out. Gently bend your knees, placing your feet on the mat. Roll onto your right side, curling up in the fetal position. Take this moment to find the calm, the strength, and the peace that you cultivated in this class. Take it with you as you walk off your mat, bringing it throughout your day, 
in these times of our world, which is like nothing that I have ever seen in my lifetime. Use your yoga. Be here now. Find some calm and travel it with you throughout your day. With eyes closed and support of hands, gently press to a comfortable seated position. Take a deep breath in, arms reach up and overhead, palms meet. Exhale, palms come down to your heart center. Take a moment, feel your chest press into your thumb knuckles. Sit nice and tall. We'll close our class with a single breath together. We inhale through our nose. Thumb knuckles travel to forehead center. May we seek the truth and recognize it as we experience it. Thumb knuckles to lips. May we speak the truth clearly and share it with all. Thumb knuckles to heart. May we feel the truth in our hearts and follow the path we know to be good. Namaste. Thank you for spending some time with me. I'll try and do this a few more times over this period of social distancing and so we can try and still have community and be together when things are just not getting us in the same space. Thanks so much. Have a great day.